Consider the following figure. Find the direction of the force on a proton, a positively charged particle, moving through the magnetic fields in the figure as shown. So all you gotta do is use the right hand rule, and I made two different copies of the right hand rule, so if it's if one's hard to, harder to interpret than the other, you can just uh, figure out which picture you like. But basically, you point in the direction of the current, and then you curl your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, and then as long as your thumb stays extended, your thumb will be pointing in the direction that the charge fills the magnetic force. So, for example, on on part A, if you point your fingers straight up, the little X's are, you got to think of the, the uh, magnetic field line, so if I drew it like a, like a, an arrow, you got to think of the X's as you're looking at the back of an arrow, and you look at the dots as if you're looking at the front of an arrow, so the magnetic field lines are going into the screen whenever you see an X. And so if you point your fingers straight up, and then curl them inward, then your thumb will be pointing to the left. Kind of the only way I have to demonstrate that uh, is to ask you to imagine, just for a moment, imagine that the, my, the magnetic field completely reversed and started coming out of the screen rather than into the screen. The, the current stays in the same direction. So if this goes out of the screen, the, instead of the force going to the left, you would expect it to reverse and go to the right. And that's what we can get from this picture. And let me try to isolate the right picture here. So if I, if I keep my current going in the right direction, in the same direction, and the magnetic field reversed and came out of the screen, then my, my force would be to the right. But since it's going into the screen, my force should be in the other direction. Now I don't think this should take too much explanation, so I'm just going to go ahead and write in some answers, and uh, hopefully it'll you'll just be able to figure it out. So the A is to the left. From I'm doing the pictures that are here on that are here in this video, so if you have a different picture, you'll just have to figure it out. But the B is into the page, into the page, C is out of the page. Now ironically, there's also a left hand rule. It doesn't work quite the same way, but it's, it's essentially the same. But uh, if you don't have a right hand, you can use the left hand rule, and you can look that up on Google. E is into the page and F is out of the page. And now it says in here, what if, it says what if the direction changes? What if the, the uh, or not the direction, but what if the charge changes from positive to negative? Well, if the charge changes, everything just flips 180 degrees. So part A would be to the right, The right hand rule works on positively charged particles and if it's negatively charged, so the, the right hand rule always works in the direction of the current. So if negative electrons are flowing, the current is in the opposite direction of the negative electron movement. But uh, if you're dealing with a negative charge, you just find the direction the force would be on the positive charge and you reverse it. So the B would be out of the page. C would be into the page. You can see why I usually type. Uh, D would be down. E would be uh, out of the page. And then F would be into the page. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but 
I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.